going to be our last video and I'm going to walk you through how to do details. So there are lots of different ways people can do details. It's pretty much just going through the picture, looking at your base colors, looking at your picture, looking at all of the small aspects and seeing how you can get the picture to look more like your photograph. In our case, throughout this process, our picture has become a little bit abstracted, which is perfectly fine, but we can still do some refining so there aren't giant blobs of color. Ours, at this point, is probably not going to end up looking exactly like the photograph, but that's fine too. And if you really want it to look like the photograph, you can do a lot more work on it, and in this stage you can rework it a lot. But for us, we're just going to kind of go over basic stuff. So hopefully you enjoy it. Also, at the end of this video, we're going to talk about what you have to do if you want to do a colored glaze to finish it all off. So, see you in a little bit. Hi there. Okay, so the detail stage is pretty subjective. There's really any way you can do it. But I'll tell you about a few more traditional ways, and then I'll tell you how we did it. So, I know we use this example a lot, but the Impressionists had really thick strokes of paint, so there wasn't an awful lot of blending when they were doing details, since it was more about color and movement. On the other hand, Renaissance painters used a lot of blending, because that was a time when people were newly experimenting with realism in art. In this case, because we have a sky and clouds, we decided to do a stippling kind of blending. So that's a little bit different, but pretty much you take the brush with your paint on it and you almost tap it up and down on the canvas. So that's how we did it, because we thought it gave a more airy, ethereal look, which is what we were going for, because it looked better and clearer with the picture. You can tell that the paint is sticking up a little bit in places. When you take the brush off, some of the paint is more towards you so that it shines a little bit more. If you don't like that textured effect, the glaze stage is probably a good idea to do because it helps smooth out your whole painting and unify it. Like if you do nails and you mess up and you put a top coat on and everything gets smoothed out. Another thing to take note of is that if you really screwed up during the other stages, if you don't like the way your charcoal washed or your base coat came out, this is a really good time to change it because if you put on enough coats of oil, it sort of conceals the background and conceals all the mistakes. And since the paint doesn't dry for a long time, it's really easy to change it. You're going to want to take your brush and clean it in your mineral spirits first. You kind of wiggle it around and push the bristles gently against the bottom so you make sure all of the paint is out. And when you're done, just scrape it on the edge so that you don't drip on your way to the sink. Next, you get warm water and soap. It can be hard soap or liquid soap. I'm using liquid soap here. And you just gently rub the brush in the palm of your hand. You're going to want to repeat this until you feel that all of the paint is out of your bristles. We did it for a while longer than you see here. After that, you rinse out all the soap and paint and dry it. You're done. Hi there. So I know I didn't do a lot of this because if I did the whole thing, you'd be sitting here for hours. But hopefully you got an idea from that. Hopefully we helped you start your first oil painting. And actually, me and Rachel would love to see your oil paintings. Yeah, buddy. So we're gonna actually post an email address in the description. So if any of you do any oil paintings based on our videos, please show us and we'll make a video of them. So that's our request for you, is to show us your oil paintings. Just before I go, um, <laughs> we're gonna talk a little bit about how to make a color glaze. Obviously, since we're not done this, we can't glaze it. And even, even if we were, we'd have to wait for a while for it to dry completely. We're just gonna tell you how to do it. Yeah. So if you wanna make a glaze, and a glaze is usually done to sort of bring all the components of the picture together, sort of meld them better, more cohesively. And also, if you have a color error in your picture that you want to fix. Like here, ours is a little bit too orange so based you, on the picture. So you see what we've done so far, and then you see that. Yeah, so we would probably do a dark blue glaze over it all. But and how you do a glaze is you take your three-part medium. There it is. And you use lots of that. 
and the tiniest bit of the color you're doing, especially if it's a dark color, use a very, very tiny bit of that and then put it on top of yeah. the picture. But again, make sure your painting is entirely dry because if it's not, all of your paint's gonna come up. Hopefully that helped you guys. And if we do another video, I'll see you then. Um, if you don't send anything in, I guess. We'll just, just goodbye. We'll be sad. Goodbye. Bye. But that's not the point. The point is I really wish it were summer. Just imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer. Da -da. Da -da. Ah, blah, 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 blah.